How dangerous is it to be a secret agent in the United States, in a heavily guarded safe house? Several agents just started interrogating, but suddenly he was attacked by gangsters. The enemy's marksmanship is extremely accurate, and the gun shoots the head. Captain John quickly called for support. Unexpectedly, the agents outside the house had already cooled down. He must muster the courage to protect the safety of his informant Sophie. But an accident happened. He was shot near the window. Pregnant Sophie. Have to fight the gangsters on their own. But the pistol only has the last bullet left. And John is losing a lot of blood. He quickly dragged the person into the kitchen. Find daily necessities from the cabinet. With a whole bottle of glue poured into the wound. John temporarily saved his life. Sophie then came to the bathroom. Pour the sugar into the gasoline bottle. Put a piece of tinfoil in there. Finally, light the candle and insert it into the mouth of the bottle. Wait until Cruz walks into the bathroom. Sophie raised her hand and shot. Unfortunately, it only hit Cruz's wrist. It's hard for him to resist now that he's about to give birth. Sophie was in terrible pain. Fortunately, the improvised bomb detonated in time. Cruz couldn't dodge and was engulfed in fire. He struggled to open the door to catch the rain. Escape from the raging flames. Fortunately in misfortune. Because the rescue was timely. Sophie is fine. The fetus in the belly also survived. But when he just woke up, the agent told him bad news. It turns out that Cruz was not burned to death. The powerful criminal group behind him. He will definitely come to seek revenge at all costs. What if the child lives with Sophie? Destined to be homeless and on the run for a lifetime. The only way now. It is to foster children with ordinary families. The Bureau of Investigation will protect it secretly. Even though he was reluctant to give up. But in the face of the cruel reality. Can only compromise. Before leaving, he found John. Ask him to protect the child. And report peace once every year on your birthday. Sophie carries a heavy. The mood comes to a small town on the edge where good friends live. With help from Mike. Rented a cabin by the lake. The days of anonymity began. Twelve years have passed by in a flash. Sophie is carrying a sniper rifle. Living a simple and boring hunting life. Until this day. When I got home. Mike brought express mail from the post office. He opened the envelope nervously. Sure enough. It was John's letter asking for help. He didn't dare to delay at all. Pack your luggage now. Pack your gear. Rush to the agreed airport overnight. It turns out that the CIA was in an operation arrested an arms dealer's henchman, and found a photo at the base. It was his daughter Zoe, whom he had not seen for many years. To protect Zoe's safety, Sophie lurks not far away in the park, seeing my daughter grow up safely. He was extremely happy in his heart. But just the next second, suspicious van suddenly appears. Sophie quickly assembled the sniper rifle bladder. Strike first before the gangsters take action. The gunfire suddenly caused chaos. Although Sophie is an excellent marksman, Kill the gangster approaching Zoe. But the other side has a large number of people. Taking advantage of the moment when Sophie was suppressed by firepower. The gangster still kidnapped the children. At the same time. The killer also came to the parking lot. He's so crazy that he won't even let passers-by go. Sophie quickly moved along the bottom of the car. I'm about to be discovered by the killer. He punched with all his strength. Breaking through a worn-out pickup truck. Hide in the car in time to avoid being chased. The killer couldn't find anyone and was very confused. Sophie took out the dagger and inserted it into the keyhole. Suddenly start the car. Killers are not smart. He actually chose to shoot. The final result can be imagined. John rushed to meet him. Sophie had a near miss and escaped safely. The man who captured Zoe is codenamed Wolf Spider. It was the Cuban arms that injured Lace's confidant. This person is unscrupulous and ruthless. We must act quickly to save Zoe. The two of them went non-stop. Rushed to Cuba to launch rescue operation. According to information from the Bureau of Investigation, they successfully controlled tarantulas in a bar. An accident occurred in the interrogation room on the spot. John was accidentally stabbed in the back. The tarantula took advantage of Sophie's distraction and ran away. He knew that if caught, he would die. Want to save my life at all costs. But Sophie, who was already furious. How can we let him escape again? Wolf Spider was taken to an unfinished building. Sophie wraps wire around her fist. Facing the door is a burst of violent output. Unexpectedly, Wolf Spiders are tough. Even if the body is completely damaged, he will not give in. He even mocked the two of them. Sophie is also rude. The waterboarding began to torture her severely. The suffocating feeling of despair spreads throughout the body. Wolf Spider admits defeat and can only explain everything. Zoe is imprisoned in a manner. Guarded by Lace's bodyguards. The worthless tarantula was kicked hard by Sophie. Result in life. The two checked into a hotel to rest for a while. Seeing John fighting for Zoe. Sophie reveals her deepest secret. It turns out that she lost her parents when she was young. So he signed up to join the army and became a sniper. Because of the innate shooting talent. He was appreciated by his superior Cruz. Cruz is ostensibly a sniper instructor. Behind the scenes, he colluded with many warlords. Selling large quantities of arms. Make a lot of money. And young Sophie was deceived by Cruz. She has been working wholeheartedly for him. Until the appearance of arms dealer Lacey. Let him see the hope of life. The two fell in love at first sight. And soon became pregnant. Shortly after Cruz and Lacey teamed up. Their arms business is getting bigger and bigger. 
such an exaggerated money-making speed, it always makes him feel like something is wrong. So one night, he sneaked into the freight warehouse. When opening one of the containers, a stench instantly hit my nose. There were actually many kidnapped and trafficked children inside. Sophie, who is about to be a mother, unacceptable to sell children, contact the Bureau of Investigation to become an informant, ready to destroy their criminal syndicate. This is why he was retaliated against. Second night, the two of them are well prepared. Take advantage of the night to get close to Lace's lair. Start a silent hunt. Sophie eliminates the bodyguards in the building one by one. Finally found the imprisoned Zoe. But what worries him is, Zoe doesn't trust him. Instead, he threw himself directly into John's arms. Sophie returned alone with a little sadness. Want to settle accounts with Roshi. And cunning Roshi has been waiting for a long time. He was in a state of confusion and had whimsical thoughts. Still trying to get back on good terms with Sophie. After saying that, he still moved his hands and feet to have an in-depth communication. But I never expected it. Lace's power was completely wiped out. The brief reunion between mother and daughter will end here. John will return him to a foster home. And Sophie returned to live in the mountains and forests. But just as the two of them were driving back, they were injured and dragged out of the car. Zoe looked around nervously. The visitor is none other than Cruz, who was disfigured by Sophie. But he didn't hurt Zoe. Instead, he deliberately waited for Sophie to arrive here. Beat John to death in front of him. Fortunately, Sophie is calm and collected. Ignite gasoline. Taking advantage of the violent explosion. Take Zoe and leave the scene quickly. Due to the large number of police who arrived, Cruz had no choice but to give up the pursuit. Sophie knows that the other party will not give up. He bought the restaurant owner's truck. Returned to the secluded town overnight. He bought thousands of rounds of ammunition and daily necessities in the supermarket. As long as they are careful, it's hard to find this place on a cruise in a short time. And this precious time, he must teach Zoe survival skills. Know how to protect yourself. At first, Zoe did not reject Sophie. But when you see a wild deer being hunted ruthlessly, at only 12 years old, he found it difficult to accept. The first step to becoming stronger, it is to recognize the cruel reality of the weak and the strong. Under Sophie's patient guidance, Zoe not only learned to drive, he also gradually adapted to the icy and snowy environment, and became familiar with various firearms, master various shooting skills. The relationship between the two also became tense from the beginning, become the mutual care we have now. Sophie also gave Zoe a folding knife. Demonstrate personally how to use a knife. Zoe seems to realize, she has an unspeakable affection for Sophie. Just in case, they made many improvised mines, placed in the woods where it is not easy to notice. But the stable days did not last long. An accident will lead to a crisis. Zoe discovers a litter of wolf cubs in the wild. Just when he was feeding the wolf cubs, suddenly bitten on the palm. While Zoe was getting stitches in the hospital, accidentally said his real name, entered into the medical system by a doctor. This means that the whereabouts of the two people have been exposed. Sophie came to the supermarket immediately, leave Zoe in Mike's care, and left Zoe a farewell letter. He must kill Cruz at all costs. Help your daughter completely eliminate the danger. As expected, in the early morning of the next day, Cruz came with his men to kill him. They are numerous, well equipped. A bloody battle is inevitable. The killer rushed straight to the hut in a furious manner, but accidentally detonated a landmine. Cruz immediately panicked when he saw this. Hurry up and inform your brothers to be aware of the trap. But they have become prey. An angry cruise. Loading a snowmobile with explosives. Press the accelerator and hit the cabin. But the killer didn't realize it at all. The accomplice in front of me is the fake Sophie. He had no time to react and was killed instantly. At this time, news came over the radio. Cruz actually discovered Zoe's location. It turns out Zoe peeked at the letter. When he learned about his life experience, he burst into tears. Hiking Mike was dissuaded and insisted on driving back. But because the road is too slippery, the vehicle lost control and fell into a ditch. Zoe used a folding knife to fight back. But at the age of 12, how could he be a match for a strong man? He was quickly kidnapped and given to Cruz. Sophie gets the news from the radio. He was so anxious that he rushed there. Make sure Sophie is not injured. The two of them quickly sped up and tried to get away. But the lingering enemy clings to him. Sophie can only be forced to challenge. The mother and daughter, who were temporarily safe, quickly climbed onto the platform. Occupy the highest point. Sophie set up the sniper rifle and took charge of shooting. Zoe is responsible for observing and locking enemies, accompanied by a crisp gunshot. The last killer fell, but shooting also exposes their position. Cruz is already targeting Zoe from afar. Sophie had to throw away her weapon, go to an appointment. Cruz was so arrogant that he even threw away his rifle. Hand-to-hand -hand combat didn't take Sophie seriously at all. As a special forces soldier, he can carry and fight. Within a few rounds, he firmly gained the upper hand. Sophie loses. Only the folding knife can be shown. But even so, he is still no match. Cruz is about to kill someone. A gunshot. The two of them flew down the hillside at the same time. Zoe arrived with a shotgun. When he breathed a sigh of relief and was about to step forward to check. Unexpectedly, Cruz suddenly appeared wearing a body armor. 
pick him up and take him away. When Sophie wakes up from coma, there is no trace of Zoe around. He endured severe pain to reset the bones, pick up the sniper rifle and look around. Finally saw Cruz driving, but it is a pity. The first shot missed. He quickly adjusted his posture and lay on the ground. Try to hold the rifle steady, calculate lead time, then fired a desperate shot. Cruz never expected to be shot in the head by the rifle he threw away. The shocked Zoe kicked the body away, running towards my mother's arms with tears in my eyes. Mother and daughter who have gone through the test of life and death finally can live a happy life.